Uh, my name is Michelle Tyreen Johnson, and I am a playwright, and I am also a reporter for KCUR Public Radio. I think I first learned about the play for Colored Girls when I was in high school. I have a recollection of having the paperback of the play in the house when I was a teenager, and I'm not even quite sure why I had it. I can't remember if it was for a class, um, if I had just found it at a bookstore, but I know it was a big deal to have in the 70s a play written by a black woman instead of all the plays that are in the canon that we had, we've all heard of, starting with Mr. Shakespeare. So for Colored Girls is a great opportunity, not just for black women, but especially for black women, to see yourself in um, a performance in a, in a, on a stage in a way where someone's story of those characters is going to speak to you. And there are certain monologues that are particularly powerful for anyone watching or listening, but that have a certain resonance. I mean, the one monologue where I think it's the Lady in Green, where she talks about somebody walked away with all my stuff. I mean, that is, it's it's poignant for me, particularly today, for personal reasons, but um, I think it's something that hits home, that whole concept of just, you can just look up as maybe the least, least supported, least celebrated, least protected demographic in our society and still feel like what little you have is still up for grabs. I think, you know, um, just in talking about politics and social ails, one of the things that hits me literally every day in one way or another is that people like to think that they're more exposed and open to folks who are different than they are. But we live in a society where there are majority demographics and majority demographics are used to always being literally center stage. And so, just coming to a play like this where where you get to see and hear voices and see body and bodies and see beauty and and hear and hear words and hear a lyricism that may not be an everyday part of your life i think that's good and that's healthy it's important for the people who come to see the rep shows and maybe aren't used to seeing black women centered to understand that for colored girls is as much a classic as seeing cat on a hot tin roof that there's no there's no difference it's sitting still and looking on stage and seeing um a life that maybe you don't relate to i mean not everybody has a brick are a Maggie in their lives, but if you can sit there and take in what their story is, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to take in the story um, that Intishaki Shange wrote with For Colored Girls. For Colored Girls Who've Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough runs on the Copagan stage through November 10th. Tickets start at just $35 at kcrip.org. <laughs>